the Twins lineup in this third. one. HR, how do they send their fan base Ryan. home happy here today? Oh, Tell you what, Matt, they got a great pitcher going, so it takes the pressure off the offense. You know you don't need five or six runs to win a game. You just scrape out a couple, and he's going to make it stand up. Here's the one-and-one one pitch. Outside, two-and-one. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Runners on first with one down. And another foul ball. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Miguel Sano. Is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. An inning in the books. Scoreless on MLB. So digging in now, Jose Bautista. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Jose Bautista. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. A solo home run that time off the bat of Jose Batista. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result. Digging in Ken Griffey Jr. as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ken Griffey Jr. Ready to deliver here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, and that ball's absolutely crushed down the line. Forget about it. That's going to stay fair and make it back to back home runs. Solo shot that time from Ken Griffey Jr., as it's now a 2 0 ball game. As soon as this thing left the bat, you knew it had the distance to get out of here. The only question was whether it was going to stay fair or not. And that question was answered with a resounding doink as it caromed off the foul pole for a homer. Here's Carlos Correa now. Carlos Correa. Into the windup and the pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. Man, he's flirting with danger. He gave up a home run on that very same pitch. And this time he comes right back with it in another dangerous location. He better be careful. And he bangs it into center field for a base hit. Running hard. He's digging for second. Throw won't get him. So a struggle that time for him in center field, and as a result, he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play. Johnny Damon. Digging in now, Johnny Damon. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch coming now from Hughes. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Hit hard on the ground to first. Kepler is right there, and he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. Batting Let's eight. take a look at the Twins the defensively brought to you by Majestic. John and I'm looking down there at second base at Brian Dozier. I love how this guy turns the pivot. He'll hang in there with the best of them, and he's got the arm strength to turn the tough one. And here's a ball hit in the air. 
Sano trying to get there. He can't get to it. This one's down. The throw to the plate. And he is safe at the plate. And the lead is now three to nothing. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality Happy swing. Night. But hey, he muscled it out there. And it was enough to get him safely Rodeo, the second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Chris Carter will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 48, Chris Carter. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Santana is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Here's Randall Gritchick. 0 for 1 Randall for him here in this Richard. one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone. So if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And another runs across as this is now a 4 nothing ball game. Well, we've already had some hard hit balls in the first two innings here. And here's another one. Absolutely jumped off his bat and into the outfield, bringing another run home here in the early going. Here's the shortstop, Ian Desmond. Slapped hard the opposite way. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Now a 5-0 lead. When it left the bat, I thought the outfielder had a beat on it. Gave it a heck Not of an batting. effort going Go high base. for it, but he just can't I'm bring it down. David. The run came across the score, and he's safely at second, hoping his teammates can return the favor. Here's the Minnesota skipper making his way out to the mound. And it looks like that's going to be all for Phil Hughes. Tyler Duffy, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And that'll stay in the park as it's off the center field wall. And add one more as this is now a 6-0 ball game. He didn't fool anybody there because he was waiting on that curveball all the way. Stays back and lets it break right over the heart of the plate. Gives it a ride and drives in a run. Nice piece of hitting right there. Here comes the right fielder, Jose Batista. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. A one pitch on its way. A wave and a miss. Obviously not where he wanted that curveball to end up, but I guess it fooled him enough to get the swing and miss. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. Jim Palmer enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Jim Palmer. Into the box now, Eddie Rosario. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down Leading six in the, the early going, so what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. That right there, Matt, may be the best pitch in baseball. I don't know why people don't throw that high fastball more. It is so difficult for a hitter to raise your hands up and try to get on top of that ball. And before you do all that, it's by you. That's back-to-back -back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Okay, here's the defense for the away team, brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at Randall Gritchett. You know, for a guy his size, he can motor. He can cover the ground in the outfield. And he's got a strong enough arm. You can play him in right, left, or center. Max Kepler comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Outside for a ball, one and one. 
Oh, straightened him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. Wow, that's a high pitch. You know what? The closer that ball gets to your eyes, the better it looks. And guys just hack at it. It's a natural swing. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Batting seven. Into the windup and the pitch. Eduardo Escobar is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Two out, nobody on. And a curveball, 79 miles an hour. It's in there 0 and 2. Well, it's awful difficult, Matt, to hit when you find yourself down 0 2, but particularly when you haven't even swung the bat yet. Now you're in protect mode and you haven't taken one swing. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Whoa, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two strike change up. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. I like the call for the two strike change up. You got to make a better pitch. He got away with one right there. That is the fourth foul ball of this AB right here. He's seeing a lot of pitches. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. Here he comes again, 1-2. And he struck him out. A 10-pitch battle, but he finally wears him down as the inning is over. Three up. Downtown Minneapolis skyscrapers as we continue our coverage on MLB Network. Leading off for Pensacola. Digging in for his second at bat, Ken Griffey Jr. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. The 0 1 pitch. In the air out to left. Rosario is there. One away. The batter, number one. Second Stepping in and ready for another shot. Carlos Correa. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. Lifted in the air to center field. Santana is in pursuit, but he won't get there. It falls in. Well, they pick something up. They're just ambushing him. First pitch swinging, it? aggressive, Perfect. and the scoring runs is paying off. Him. Standing in now. Johnny Damon as he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the 1 0. Runner goes. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Rosario has a read on it and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying the to move up. Number 28. Riding in once again, Jaso. John Jaso. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Santana is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So no runs here on a base. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. He starts off the